Hey everyone, welcome back to Mortal Kombat 11. It has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I haven't played this game in a long time, but a patch is out. Actually, the patch has been out for like two days at this point. I just didn't have a, like the time to get around to it. I've mentioned this in my previous update. I don't know how many of you guys saw it, but I'm kind of having a busy time at work, so I have less time to make videos, but... I thought that I should check out this MK patch with my main man Kotal Khan because if you don't know with this MK patch every single character has received their third variation finally I mean it was really needed uh, so many characters suffered from having just lackluster variations like pretty much all of the characters had a clear superior variation except a few so the fact that they added a third one and the fact that they took their time, which I really appreciated because as they explained in the little, you know, combat cast they did, they really wanted to like see which abilities people gravitated towards, which is how it should be. So that we get like actual balanced competitive variations. Uh, so yeah, all characters have them. We're going to look at Kotal Khan's, which, one, which is called Bullock or... As I call it, the viable totemic. Uh, if you don't know, Kotal Kahn's second variation, of course, involved the panther and the blood totem. It was called totemic for some reason, even though I feel like that fits this variation better. But, yeah, that variation is very lackluster. Uh, Kotal Kahn has all these cool totems. Basically the same ones as he had in MKX. He has one extra, which is the meter drain one. Or is it meter gain? Whatever. It affects his meter. Uh, and they choose to give him the shittiest one, which is the blood totem. And I was always like, man, wouldn't it be cool to have the damage totem? The damage totem was the best in MK. The damage totem is here. And let me tell you, this damage totem is fucking sick. So, let's cover this variation. No changes in terms of base moves. He still has all his classics. I don't think Kotal Khan has a move where he gets extra strings. What he does gain is damage totem, and if you look at this damage totem, let's just do his a uh, one two two string. This does one 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 damage, hundred and eleven, hundred and thirty four, hundred and fifty six. Uh, yeah, you can get three. Hundred and seventy eight, nearly hundred and eighty damage from a one 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 string. This damage totem is crazy. Of course, it's not like the MKX one where it's one totem and it gives you damage. You can kind of have to like stack it. However, even one of them makes a huge difference. If we look at really like the most basic thing you could do with Kotal Khan, you know, this is not a combo variation, neither is totemic. But if you do something like uh, something like this. It's classic. It's about as much as you can get unless you're in the corner or you do it off of a jump kick. Uh, yeah, you do something basic like this. It does 196 damage. Look at it with the damage totem. You just dealt 23.6 technically percent damage. 236 damage. Yeah, that is very good. That is significant. It, it is almost up to the point where you could consider it like a proper combo. And I always thought that the damage totem really was what Kotal Khan needed. Since, again, he doesn't have combos unless you take the uppercut uh, as a move. So, how do you compensate for not having combos? Well, you compensate by being able to deal more damage. So, yeah, they basically nailed it. This is exactly what this character needs. But the damage totem is not all that he has. He also has, if I can get it to work. There we go. That, that's weird. Huh? Why did it go like that? That was really weird. I don't know why it was not working. He also has the damage reduction totem. Now, the thing about this totem, if you look at it, this totem has a much slower startup than the damage totem. Uh, the damage totem, you can kind of just like machine gun it almost, and it's going to come out pretty consistently. This totem, it is way slower. However, the effects of it can be felt massively. Let me just do something with Cabal, just do something like this, and then do a jump. So, 
Cabal's jump kick, let's just take a look at it. Deals 90 damage. I think that's pretty much standard. 72. 72 damage. I mean, that's, I would say, a pretty significant reduction. 54. And finally, 36. If you have three damage reduction totems out, you basically take like zero damage comparatively, especially considering the fact that in this variation, Kotal Khan has the better version of the sun. Like, no matter what you say, this is the superior version of the sun, the, the one that goes on him automatically, and you can like direct it forward. So, technically, what you can do if you're clever about your setups is get something like this going. And this is absolutely crazy. Yeah, the damage totem with the damage reduction, first things first, makes Kotal a very, very strong zoner. Again, you get a combo like this out, like, what the fuck can your enemy do? How the hell is anyone gonna contend with that? Especially since Kotal Khan gains one more extra move, which is the enhanced disc. Now, this thing, of course, has terrible startup. That's kind of the compensation. Uh, it does hit from up close. Uh, I don't think... I don't know if it works in any combos. It does, but... Well, actually, does that do more damage? Probably not, doesn't do more damage than Khan Cut. Plus, it costs a meter. It does... Mm, yeah. So, that's not worth it at all. Uh, but, yeah. From, from full screen, Kotal Khan finally gains a mid projectile. Which is what his disc was in MKX. Which was kind of broke, to be honest. But, yeah. Back to the totems. Uh, setting them up. The totems are not as difficult to set up as you would think. Very few characters... Uh, have ways of punishing even the shittier totem setups. First things first, if I'm not mistaken, this guarantees a totem. Pretty much. I think Cabal might be able to punish with Fatal Blow. Uh, don't quote me on that. We're gonna... We're gonna take a look at it. Can you not do it? Ah, fuck it. I forgot how to set up training mode, but yeah. I can almost guarantee this uh, guarantees a totem if you time it correctly. What does actually legit guarantee a totem is jump pick, jump kick. Can't even talk. Jump kick guarantees one. Uh, you can also do. This is not a guarantee, but it's very close. Uh, so four three four almost guarantees a totem if I don't fuck up the input. There we go. Forward 4 can almost guarantee a totem. Again, characters like this, like Cabal, Jax, maybe Frost, can punish it, but most of the cast, not much you can do. This does legit guarantee a totem. This is 3-4. Now, of course, the thing about this is that this move is a high start, but again, you can special cancel into the totem. Same holds true for back to two. You do back to two, which is actually not as bad a move as people think, in my opinion. You get a guaranteed totem. So what I'm trying to get at, uh, and I mean damage totem. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be. See, I don't know about that one. Let me just check. We're gonna do hook spin. That's his. Okay, it's not what I want. We want hook punch. I want to see. If that is guaranteed. Okay, so it guarantees a damage reduction totem as well. That's really cool because I thought that the damage reduction totem would not be guaranteed, but it is. So, yeah, you basically have a couple of ways to reliably get totems out. And again, because the damage one is so quick. Like, if your opponent is not paying attention in neutral, you can just, like, very easily, bam, you know, pop one of these totems out. And let me tell you, when you have one out, you are a scary motherfucker. This, this variation is so good, man, because I feel like it perfectly covers uh, Kotal Khan's, I wouldn't say, like, weaknesses, but the areas that were not covered by his other variations. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. Totemic is basically dead. I see absolutely 
zero, zero reason, where is it, uh, to ever go for this variation. You can't even justify it with the counter zoning, you know, like before you could say that, you know, if you're facing a strong zoner, getting this panther to go through projectiles, it's good, it's good. However, with the damage reduction totem and the sun in the other variation, you have already one of the best counter zoning tools in the game. So I see zero, zero reason to ever use this variation. I feel like the other one is still going to hold its place. I have a feeling that this is still going to be the best version of Kotal because of just damage and combos. But I think uh, Bullock or whatever it's called is going to be a very, very close second. I'm definitely going to check this character out online to see what he plays like. Yeah, poor Totemic. Now I think the real work is going to be for NRS going forward is fixing the useless variations that have been made inadequate by these new ones that they added. But overall, I am, as a Kotal player, very happy. Very, very happy with these changes. I think this is exactly what we, what we wanted. And again, I can't even talk. This is exactly what all Kotal players wanted. To get his two most fun tools, the damage and the damage reduction. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Jesus, that's a lot. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. And yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Peace out, guys.